somebody called us and said, you guys want to do Catch-22? And we said, no, under no circumstances. And then they sent us the script. I've been staying up at night. I'm saying to myself, how are we going to win this thing, boys? No, it's a rhetorical question. Sir. Catch-22, a beautiful story about this one particular guy who represents all of us, our hero, Yossarian, and his attempts to stay alive. You can ground me if I'm crazy, right? Oh, sure, I have to. I have to ground anyone who's crazy. Then ground me, I'm crazy. You're not crazy. But I am. Ask anyone, they'll tell you how crazy I am. Yeah, but they're crazy. Yossarian is a character who expends an extreme amount of energy trying to get out of the airport. It's not that he's afraid to die, he's just afraid on how that would happen. He doesn't want to die at the hands of some inane bureaucratic rule. His logic makes sense, but if we all thought that way, the world would be in terrible shape. So why the hell are we still flying missions? Because we gotta, we gotta polish them off. Well, you can polish them off. I don't want to be the one who dies showing them the door. The way that Luke Davies put all this together was a tremendous amount of work. In one moment, it's extremely funny and satirical. Hello. And then in the next moment, it could be extremely grounded, emotional. What we hope that we've done with this is to really sort of explore those two opposite sides. It's fun to play characters that are really mad, really crazy. There are things that uh, my character does that are they're absolute insanity. Hip, hip! I'm playing Shyskov, which, I mean, he's just a raging, screaming madman. It's one where you just go, how far should we go? It's such a fun performance. I don't think they've ever seen you like this before. Well, I must be stupid because the distinction escapes me. Well, you're a sir, windy son of a bitch, aren't you? No, sir. We all know what it's like today to feel very powerless in the face of these giant structures, corporations, governments, institutions. This story to me is particularly relevant now when we see what's happening around us and the kind of absurd decisions that are being made, not for the best interest of mankind, but for the best interest of corporations or for themselves. This is war. War concentrates power in the hands of those most likely to abuse it. I think Yossarian represented a certain sense of fighting back against why is it not okay to question laws that are in place. I can't do this anymore. One thing that television can do really, really well is give us a chance to really go much more in depth into these long, interesting character studies. And this was a great way of exploring this book in a way that I don't think is possible any other way.